Welcome to the introduction video for the paper titled Real-Time Imaging of Antibiofilm Effects Using CPSOCT, which was written by a team at the University of Minnesota and published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering. In addition to the paper, we have key supplemental files discussing our in vitro biofilm model and also video files of the biofilm imaging discussed in the manuscript. One of the research questions that this paper addresses is how do compounds affect in vitro oral biofilms under low and high flow conditions. Specifically, we looked at three different compounds and their effect on oral biofilms under low and high flow conditions. The first part of our paper discusses the development and characterization of a flow cell that can accommodate biofilm grown on saliva-coated hydroxyapatite discs. The unique design of this flow cell allows it to be paired with CPSOCT imaging. The paper discusses how we use two different speeds to create two different types of shear stress across the biofilm in the flow cell. And the biofilm in the flow cell can be imaged with CPSOCT which stands for cross-polarization optical coherence tomography and the details of this system are discussed in the manuscript. One interesting video that you will find as a supplemental file is the effect of high flow 5 molar urea. You can see that 5 molar urea causes detachment of the biofilm to the saliva coated hydroxyapatite disc and CPSOCT imaging allows you to monitor the rate and removal of the biofilm. It also allows you to view the effect of these compounds in both low and high flow conditions. You will see that although most of the biofilm is removed, there remains certain parts of the biofilm that are still adherent to the hydroxyapatite. The manuscript discusses how exposure to low flow urea for a period of 15 minutes causes a swelling or increase in the vertical dimension of these biofilms. After 15 minutes, the flow is changed to a high flow condition for two minutes where biofilms are almost completely removed by urea compared to biofilms exposed to PBS. So how does 1% chlorhexidine dynamically affect biofilms under low and high shear stress conditions. The answers and more can be found in our manuscript, Real-Time Imaging of Antibiofilm Effects Using CPSOCT, and please find us on the web as the BAM Lab at the University of Minnesota.